What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today we have a brand new WWE action figure set up for you guys and today it is WrestleMania 36 edition. So as you guys can see, we do have the backstage filled up for a new action figure setup, WrestleMania 36 edition, and guys, I don't know about you, but I do not feel like it's WrestleMania season, I guess with everything going on in the world, it just seems like WrestleMania is going to be very bland, you know, we're going to do our best to give it, you know, all we got, I'm going to enjoy the show to the best of my ability, it's going to be very hard without fans though, you know, it's going to be very difficult to focus, because you know, the fans are what create a reaction, you know, they get you hyped up, they react to the same ways we do, and you know, they they feed off the match and the talent feeds off the off the crowd and you know that's what makes great matches great matches and a part of that is a crowd if a crowd's dead the, it can it can literally ruin a match so hopefully you know they can do what they can do you know all the talent going in the ring this is historic for a lot of reasons because wrestlemania 36 is going to be a two night event saturday and sunday night i will be reviewing night one and night two saturday and sunday night so you guys can look forward to that back-to-back -back nights but anyways guys it just doesn't feel like wrestlemania season you know with everything going on and everything like that you can see the talent here in the setup is not practicing social distancing so I don't know what the hell's going on back here with all these pieces of plastic but we filled up the backstage guys 16 matches on this card so far there could be more announced we got some crazy things going on with this show and I'm just going to do my very best for you guys to take you through the setup and hopefully you know we get a good show coming this weekend hopefully the show's okay as far as wrestling standpoint because obviously there will be no crowd present but you know we got to do what we got to do we're going to get through this together and I hope I can bring you guys some entertainment as you sit at home and sit in quarantine and try to let this thing pass over to the best of our abilities. But alright guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the setup and we're not going to start right here. We're not going to start with anything right here. We have to go to uh, Roman Reigns house. We have to go to Roman Reigns house. We're going to go over here to Roman Reigns house. You guys can see Roman chilling in the chair watching his TV. Obviously the TV is my little monitor right there. And yeah, Roman Reigns chilling at the house. He did pull out of WrestleMania 36. It hasn't been announced yet. I don't know what they're going to do on Friday Friday Night Smackdown, but they're probably going to do some angle where Braun Strowman or somebody takes out Roman or Roman. Roman doesn't agree or something, but I think Friday Night Smackdown was pre-taped, so I don't know what they're going to do. You know, I guess we'll just have to play that by ear, but I use this as Roman Reigns' house. I couldn't find my couch accessories, which is some which is some BS right here, but I did have this folding chair, so he's just chilling, watching WrestleMania 36 from the house, and it's totally understandable. I totally agree with it. I honestly feel like WrestleMania should be postponed, or they should do something else, but you know what? They're going to just continue on with it and it's not my decision so I'm just gonna shut the hell up but anyways guys let's get into the actual setup of Wrestlemania 36 right here coming into the corner um, you guys know that Elias is taking on Trash Corbin so it doesn't matter to me who Trash Corbin's facing okay he could be wrestling a rat he could be wrestling Elias he could be wrestling my boy John Cena Finn Balor Kevin Owens I don't give a damn Brad he's trash so Elias is taking out the trash and I enjoy Elias's work I think he's a good promo not the greatest in the ring but maybe they can pull out a great match definitely gonna be a boring match not really a WrestleMania worthy match to me, but you know what? We're just going to see what happens. Hopefully, Elias can get the job done as you can see him dumping the trash right here with Trash Corbin. You, you know, you put trash in the trash. So, coming forward a little bit, guys. If we go right here, you guys know that there is a fatal five way, right? There's a fatal five way match set for Bayley to defend her SmackDown Women's Championship. And you can see her, Naomi, and Sasha Banks all putting Tamina in the other trash can. That's actually a recycle bin, but you know what? We're just, we're just going to treat it as a trash can. We're just putting the trash you know what? We're just getting rid of it. You know, you put something in the recycle bin, you're getting rid of it. It's going to be recycled, so hopefully something new comes back. So they're putting Tamina in there. Don't know why she's in that matchup, but you know what? Hopefully they can bring out a good match with each other there. Uh, whatever night. I don't know which matches are win on which nights. I don't know if that's been announced just yet, but uh, SmackDown Live Women's Championship is being defended right there, and I don't think Tamina really deserves to be in that match. But we come beyond that, guys. We do have my boy Dolph Ziggler. Oh, God. Jay Uso or J J J Uso took a tumble. I'm going to have to set that up before we continue. But over here we do have my boy Dolph Ziggler with Mandy Rose. You guys know that Otis is taking on Dolph Ziggler in a singles match all over the love of Mandy Rose. Really don't know how this one's going to go. You know, if I were booking it, I'd have Dolph Ziggler win and just have Mandy as his as his little side manager there and just let them run rampant, build up a good heel there together. I think they could generate a lot of heat, but uh, especially if they beat Otis, so I think that would work out. I don't see that happening. I think it's going to be the opposite. I think Otis wins and then Mandy sides with Otis, and then we get a little baby face thing going forward. So that's what I'm thinking about that. If we come forward just a little bit, guys, we do have the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka, the women's tag team champions, and 
Kyrie Sane beating down on Nikki Cross. So Kyrie Sane and Oscar are beating up on Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. I, I don't know how many setups and predictions and things I've done of Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross talking about how I don't like them as a tag team. But the women's tag team championships should have never been made. So I have them beating up on them anyway. I think they will retain. I could see them losing, but I hope they retain it, even though these these championships are easily the most worthless in the company. So I think that uh, the, the women's tag team championship should stay where they are. Asuka and Kyrie Sane take out Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, just like they are right here in the setup. We come forward, guys. We have the money shot right here. We have the calm before the storm. Randy Orton and Edge going head-to-head. -head. Last man standing match at WrestleMania. Some of these matches, man, like Edge comes back out of retirement. Huge, huge deal for wrestling and the wrestling community. Just for him to perform in front of no one. Hopefully, you know, he'll stay for a while until, you know, this thing blows over so that we can get this man in a, in a prompt-to arena cheering for this man. Uh, very unfortunate situation, but uh, we do have this beautiful Edge Return Royal Rumble Custom. If you guys want to pick that up, it is going up on eBay later because uh, everybody that's been bidding on my customs has been ruining the custom batches. There will not be any more custom batches because people are winning the auctions and not paying for their items, and it's putting a lot of stress on the customizer. Very unfortunate, but this one is still available, as well as AJ Styles, so you guys can go over there and check those out if you would like to purchase them, but I am I am hyped for this match regardless if it's in front of five people, no people, 20,000, 100,000. I don't care. I'm hyped for this match, man. I think it's going to be a baller, so Randy Orton and Edge are going to clash, and I'm excited for it, even though there won't be anybody present. I'm still hyped for it, man. So I think we got this whole section raffled off, guys. Let's move on to the next section. We do have Drew McIntyre finally taking down the beast. He's got the WWE Championship hoisted up over Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar taken out right there, and it is beautiful sight to see Drew McIntyre. Again, another unfortunate situation. He wins the Royal Rumble. He's been built up and built up, and now he finally gets his moment. He finally is going to be able to, you know, accomplish and take out the beast, and you know what, man? It's not going to be in front of a 100,000 screaming, roaring Drew McIntyre's name, you know, like we want to see, but uh, hopefully he can get the job done anyways, and it will be okay. So Drew McIntyre overcoming Brock Lesnar right here with the WWE Championship. I think that's an epic shot right there. I like that. He's got the foot on top, and uh, he, he looks like a baller. So hopefully Drew can get the job done at Mania. Over here, guys, we have a matchup that I do not care about one bit. You know, it's very unfortunate that this is what we're getting. I could have seen something way better than this, but Aleister Black hitting a black mass on Bobby Trashley. Obviously, this is how I feel about the match. I hope it's not a very long one, man. I hope they get in the ring and just Aleister Black masses Trashley. And if you guys will notice, his foot's a little hanging off right there. The edge would be a damn shame if he tumbled off, but he just, he just crash lands. So I have Aleister Black just destroying Bobby Trashley right here in the setup, and hopefully, you know, Aleister does get the win. Even if they go 20 minutes, I hope at least Aleister Black does get the win over Trashley. Finally got that ish picked up back there, but uh, let's move on, guys. We have Charlotte right here, and I don't have a Rhea Ripley figure just yet, so I have Charlotte just chilling right here because she comes up short, man. I have Rhea Ripley defeating Charlotte and moving on and uh, continuing her reign. You know, Charlotte probably should have won the Royal Rumble anyways, so I have her losing to Rhea Ripley, and uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I wouldn't be shocked if Charlotte beat Rhea Ripley, but I think that the fans would be outraged. You know, they don't have to worry about booze or anything, but social media outcry will be massive if Charlotte were to beat Rhea Ripley. So I have Rhea Ripley defeating Charlotte and Charlotte being defeated down here on the end of this bed, or stretcher, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Moving forward, guys, we do have Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy tag teaming and beating up on Kevin Owens. My boy KO and Seth Rollins are set to square off. Two of my favorites in the world at the moment, and I think, you know, I love Buddy Murphy too. I think Buddy Murphy is one of my favorite talents in the world right now too. So, all three of these men, uh, all, the match is only Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins though, so you know what? It, uh, it, we'll, we'll see what the hell goes down. Hopefully we get a good match. You know, two great workers, two guys going at it. Hopefully we get some cool attires from both, and both guys just get in there and tear it up. I don't know if we're going to get cool attires just because of, you know, everything going on. They probably don't, aren't going to do anything crazy, but, you know, we can hope and find out. But I just have Murphy and Rollins beating up on KO here. Coming back towards the middle again, guys, we do have Shayna Baszler, who has just recently won the Raw Championship over Becky Lynch. So I think she'll win the match at WrestleMania over Becky Lynch. Maybe at the end of night one, I could see this. Like, the main event of night one could be Shayna versus Becky. I don't want that to be the main event. I just think that's what's going to take place. So Shayna will defeat Becky, win the Raw Women's Championship, and out of nowhere, here comes Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Attack Shayna Baszler from behind, taking out Shayna, and that is our matchup going forward, our feud going forward whenever we continue. You know, honestly, if they wanted to do the things right, I think they should 
get if they want to knock out WrestleMania 36, go ahead and knock it out, get it completed, and then after that, man, just don't worry about doing any more shows. Just wait. The fans will be waiting too. So like, if you just take time off, let everybody re rehab and get ready, and then we'll come back, you know, full swing. It gives you time to write storylines. You don't have to force anything. It would be really, really easy if after WrestleMania they took a little well-needed break. But Ronda Rousey could be her first few coming out of that break uh, for the Raw Women's Championship, attacking Shayna Baszler right there. Now we come to the middle, guys. We do have the Fiend up on the shoulders of John Cena, a match I'm actually looking forward to a lot. Another match, you know, I wish it was the Universal Championship on the line, but John Cena does have the Fiend loaded up on his shoulders, about to give him an AA and FU off the top of the shoulders through the table right there and just sends, you know, the Fiend packing right there. I would love nothing more than to see John Cena overcome the Fiend and defeat him. I don't think it's going to take place, but uh, who knows what could happen next. Maybe we get a heel turn from John after the Fiend because of, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the powers of the Fiend flipping guys from face to heel. So hopefully, you know, we'll get something creative like that. But I hope their matchup is better than their WrestleMania 30 matchup. And, you know, we got the Fiend going one-on-one -on -one with Cena. So hopefully my boy can get it done right there. And then if you come to the end of this table, guys, you will notice a ladder bridge. And we got Big E on this ladder bridge and Jimmy Uso on top of the ladder back here about to crash land through Big E through the ladder. And you guys know, I actually just, I don't know how I didn't know about this, but a triple threat ladder match, the Usos versus the New Day versus Miz and Morrison taking place at Mania, and that would have been so cool to see in front of all the fans, but I have, you know, uh, the Usos and New Day and Miz and Morrison all tying up in this setup, and this is where we got going on right here. Jimmy Gump coming off the top of the ladder through Big E. We got some other stuff going on this side. You guys will see John Morrison getting super kicked by Jay. That's the guy that fell earlier and knocked over Buddy Murphy, and then not only does, do we have that a part of the setup, you have Miz back here on this table, and then on top of that ladder is Kofi Kingston about to bail off with Xavier Woods holding it. So we got a lot of crazy stuff going on just like that ladder match. Hopefully that match can, you know, get a lot of momentum and, you know, be exciting even though there's no crowd present. And so, uh, yeah, we got all three teams tying up in the setup. Got a lot of crazy-ish going on with that. If we go just behind John Cena, if you guys can see, uh, you will see Sami Zayn with the Intercontinental Championship, the Intercontinental Champion laying out Daniel Bryan with Cesaro and then on the other side over here we do have Shinsuke Nakamura on top of Drew Gulak, if you guys can see that. So, uh, Shinsuke and Cesaro will be in Sami Zayn's corner to defend the Intercontinental Championship against Daniel Bryan. I think that's the match. It's one-on-one -on -one with each having managers, but Drew Gulak is only one man, and Sami Zayn has Shinsuke and Cesaro. So, who the hell knows what's, what's up with that, but I know that Sami Zayn and Daniel Bryan can put on a damn clinic. So, hopefully that's what we get out of those two. I think we got some underrated matches here, man. I think there are some matches that are god-awful, but there's also some matches that I'm really looking forward to. And hopefully this mania can, you know, make up for it, even though there's no crowd and we can get things going. Don't know how many times I'm going to say that. But let's go ahead and move back here, guys, because we have two final parts of the setup. The first one is The Undertaker choking out AJ Styles. Um, I think we put this in another setup. I couldn't remember, but Undertaker is taking out AJ Styles. He's got the, you know, the, the choke hold right there, about to hit him with a choke slam in the Boneyard match. I think it's supposed to be similar to a Buried Alive match or something like that, so we'll just have to see, you know, how that plays out, how that goes down. But Undertaker does have the choke right there laid in on AJ Styles, and I'm, I'm predicting an AJ Styles victory possibly, man. I don't know. It'd be a nice rub, but I wouldn't be shocked if Undertaker came away with it. And the final part of our setup, guys, is this crazy-ish going on right here. You guys know that Roman Reigns is no longer challenging for the Universal Championship. He is sitting at the house. So I do have Goldberg spearing Braun Strowman through this scaffolding. You got all the like just buried on top of him. Blue Universal Championship laid off to the right. And uh, apparently Braun Strowman's going to be the replacement for Roman Reigns. However, they write that in, whether they write something in or not. I think that Roman Reigns is going to be replaced place with Braun and if that is the case then I think Braun Strowman is going to get taken out by Goldberg man I don't I just don't see him putting it on Braun I would be completely shocked I'd rather honestly I think I'd rather see Goldberg with the championship over Braun Strowman I'm just not a Braun Strowman guy I think he should have been champion three years ago when he was you know wrapped up with Brock Lesnar and all that so I don't know man I, I really don't know what to say I guess we're just gonna have to find the hell out at WrestleMania 36 but again I will be reviewing both shows you know both night one and night two I don't think I'm going to wait on night two to do one full review. I think I'm going to do two separate reviews, you know, give each night its own individual, you know, time. That way I can talk about it, get all the details so you guys don't sit there for 30, 
40 straight minutes listening. You guys can uh, get, you know, one full night and then another full night. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this WrestleMania 36 action figure setup. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. You know, let's try to stay positive about WrestleMania and wrestling and everything going forward, man, because nobody needs all that bullshit negativity all the freaking time. You know, I don't agree with WrestleMania going forward, but I am going to try and enjoy the WrestleMania show as much as I possibly can, even though I probably will crap on the things that suck. But you know what, Brad? That's all right. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Someone buy this edge. Thanks.